text box multi -line. Part two of submarine beast turned foe. Vatican down USA woes. Document Eli content. James Albright's Reserve 2023. Today is March 1st, 2024. Menu expanded with submenu. Dear readers, it was at that juncture during conversations transpiration that evening that Joel had taken to task Elias Elizer Ben Yahuda, which was much to a spectating Elijah's pleasure. Part two of two. Joel's face then shining under the reflecting light of another miraculous towering candelabra appearance with Mashiach as centering flame that evening on Mount of Olives not long after he's with a team of liberating U.S. and Israeli three. soldiers surmounted the balance wavering Golan that's border had verily been into obsolescence like green lines erased on the eve of the church's rapture. Joel described firmly to his conviction unwavering pertaining to Hor Babylon and her definition beyond mere symbol utterly before alongside those 12 sets of 12,000 Jewish men had ascribing more perfectly to heartful affiliation with either of Jacob's 12 sons and tribes in expectation of a rapture feeling like the one he'd missed, that such was as a detail that maybe God was too busy to see to. This was before he'd reminded himself that twice was he ensnared inside of the jaws of the Tyranian beastly machine only to make it out alive as many times. Persons considering how the players pertaining to who by inference Revelator John did see in the form of nations ruling prior to same Revelator John's day. With heavy hearts some persons like the father Michael Sebastian D'Angelo did declare when said he, Oh my! Joel! So this distress in New York then was a symbol of a preview of an allusion toward the faded seven years of history's concluding that. Lo and behold, as behind John then so too ahead of him. It involves the very same players recently engaging in war who are ever in violent opposition and tangly rift with ally Israel. Joel interjected again. Feeling compelled while conversing with the priest who'd seemed to attempt. And only vainly to ever deter and deflect as he was heard less than perfectly translating words from teachers who'd been teaching of the prophecy and easy reference as given to Revelator John. The former necessarily reminded everyone standing atop Olive's Mount of the systemist religious harlot whose shoe no Islamic confederation could be expected to as designation apostate entity rationally fit, concluding the point Joel reminded in addition that Still for others desiring to fit the Babylonian shoe to the ten-toed foot it remained easy to without demanding the correct interpretation of the seven-headed revelation beast imagery as symbol than to specifically on blind leap and with axe to grind conclude that America has to just has to fit the harlot description then. So of course she'd fit. That's only if Put Only those lines together. America were Babylon resurrected and if the faded years highlighting an infamy then are group. seen in defiance of prophetic scriptures as something other than a time conspicuous for who returns to conclude the same bloody week. No. He hadn't touched down to earth with just a scale and gavel in his hands but conversely does despotic cloak and dagger sleuth Nasser Abu Mata Hussein as kingmaker of a conglomerate 10 as his commanding chiefs flood into usurp I'm at after 40, the scales of his false peace motives did by the design surreptitious like glass shards break into tiny pieces that themselves could be said to represent the fragility of the short-term reign of his empire of infamy of infamies. The men and women on that mount to where Mashiach is to according to scriptures return and during a deceptive silence of lull preceding the storm. They were as though committed to the charge defying Prime Minister Itzhak Rosen's evacuation order while thinking on commanding victories over the Confederation's tourniquet squeeze during and following the time of temple sizable dismantling. Concluded on that late hour in preparation for only God knew what. Readers along for the Daniel 70 weeks of years sojourn. Given our turn of events then and what has already in Joel and Remnant's trail material least a person might be forgiven for ascribing to a belief that all of Harlot Babylon descriptions are at once and at once true. If. If. They stand on the credibility required in their unsensationalistic belief that those 70 years during the earlier 20th century behind. Six months shy of seven years and not resulting in the return of Messiah on the year following the former century's page turn were verily these seven years present as consummation and of common time as appointed by God yet she America lived and lives to not only vindicate herself but to like some majestic eagle sweeping on in bridge the Mideast gap on the very post-rapture hour 
at least two things outstanding yet, was what Joel said while hammering the point home. Pantomiming on the two points by pounding an invisible hammer against an invisible door that's invisible nail he was pinching between two fulcrum grip fingers. Ellipsis the judgment of the harlot and pray that you do not see it. And the return of the Savior Yeshua. And pray that you soon shall see it. For him, and how strange it was to see an entertained and approving Eliyahu Hanavi's fierce features loosen some. The prophet respected for his requirement for maintaining space within his any immediate proximity and space finding slack in the tethering line still and as though motored by a siphoning gloom that he painstakingly ousted. Walked he over to stare into the luxuriant sunshine that he might fix his eyes on and reflect over what had remained of the former temple mount. The so-called objects of the devil beguiling trick. As Elias had said, toward his left side vantage point and opposite of Moses in that patch of craggy ground sporting the heads of cemetery markers once unearthed before it seemed very spirits had from therein slammed to sky after forming procession in front of them somehow showing family members that bones were left undisturbed and still in place comforted on another level pertaining to spirits scarcely trapped therein still twas and not coincidentally then or during the lengthy conversation regarding the babylonian whore that kidron valley there seemed to have a mind to call to him as might the gavel in the hand of an indicting judge while presiding over a verdict by all parties unexpected Moshe joined him and there was foreboding there and even knowledge yet both men. Finding rich smiles and pointing toward a considerable portion as stretch on serpentine trajectory path left still uncovered. While booms overhead sonically sounded and heads of trees served hot eviction notice to the returning sparrows that were too numerous to count. They honored the loose ends of revelation by circumspectly retaining their silence. The impression for maybe the first time that they weren't able to resist a reflecting bout returning them to distant time past. Themselves comforted by the thought similarly overtaking them. Their God was still on the throne. Run. Run. I'll pick up with there. The report is true. Here. It is true. It's going to be three Michael or four. Sebastian D'Angelo breathlessly exclaimed. The religious in itself has a problem with that. Quote, he is. He's far from our prophet. Run. Run. The report is true. It is true. The father Michael Sebastian this D'Angelo two, breathlessly three. exclaimed. Like for three or three on Quote, this. he is. He's far from our prophet and pope with religious revival in his wings and only believed to be still in the blessed basilica to go down with the ship and suffer the grim fate as though ordained by God. I think. But by the despotic Satan and traitor Nasser Hussein is he motivated. God forgive us the terrible terrible sacrilege. His prophet was something other than our hope as to Eliezer and Padre Pietro de Rome de Anus we turned. And now this as she does burn as does DC and the portions of very world. We partnered with him. The infamous one empowered by Satan himself. We were. Many of us to whom the world looked for an answer. Deceived. He ran like the Dickens. Losing all of his spectacles. Bright pink skull cap reserved for Vatican event visitations and his shoes alongside several cardinals to his either side who were similarly coming undone. Both in attire and emotion. Clothing appendages intertwined in fabric blossomed loose and ricocheted and skidded across pavement. Getting caught between persons scampering feet and legs. One of same cardinals on wheels and zippering down pavement thanks to the man feverishly pushing him in the wheelchair with a distraught young woman falling into and then careening coarsely off of same chair. Angularly to the ground sent as pandemonium divisible only by other forms of chaotic madness was for the moment the generous yet unforgiving air only. As Lord knows. My later misgivings greatly troubling me, quote continued the priest as though both beleaguered and eager to in defiance of his hyperventilating bout speak. Stealing an eclipsed breath with chest cavity That's thrusting That's the Father forward, Michael Sebast uh, ellipsis and, Sebastian. And prevented, I don't know why I'm saying the priest. Thoroughly prevented my very sleep for many a night on end. 
I petitioned Michael God, Sebastian D'Angelo. Asking for assistance and he sent me dreams that I did misconstrue as fiery brands shot at me from Satan himself. She and Vatican City is in fact bombed. Oh God do save us. The many have lost even the will to cling onto their own strength and your planet is sunken under the weight of our own despair. Nothing remains. Only the demand to either surrender to or painfully resist death with only that as motive. Mortar blasts were the warning sounds given as the so-called little fires of Rome. Pillars like dominoes slamming against each other before the rock constructs littered the ground with frolicking specks of destitution alive in dust plumes with night lights. Nature's and those artificial. Reflecting inside of that variety of granite that wonderfully shines when touched by sunshine glints of radiance. Similarly emitted were sparks of almost phosphorescent glimmer and the reflective particles changed course when the winds from another explosion rocked the columns nearby as had just a short distance away a substantial portion of the magnificent Colosseum quick been shaken that was one fourth set ablaze. Two jets swiftly streamlined on unaccountably hostile trajectory into her cranked open ornate mouth. Shot down like lightning strikes into the bosom as though the construct was waiting and anticipating their rapid descent. Persons during a visit against advice took to their heels. As tirelessly occurs during traumatic experiences that does ever and time again serve like green lights to vehicles when compelled persons approach only to with wounded astonishment wonder rather than fleeing from obvious signs of danger. Security personnel. Police officers and rescue teams chastised the same individuals and warned that the bombings only precede these as was that characteristic in Washington. D.C. USA. The bombings only precede the greater attacks against the Vatican Square and all surrounding and the conglomerate forces, a mad throng bolted riotously around a corner. Ellipsis hey. Get the hell out of there. You are not in the clear. Hey. Hey, he forced his fist into the air. Tightly whirled it around at the end of his arm while indicating the throne with a fiercely point left hand. Listen for yourselves. Mortar blasts are en route to light up that entire area. Can't you see and hear them storming away from trajectory paths up there? Nasser and your Padre Pietra have expressly taken responsibility and have acted on their threat to because of the broken alliance annihilate the city entire. I'm warning you. Get the hell out of here. You've seen what's happened. As though bent and determined to finally unclog a portion of brain wherein was housed inhibition and great slack in reservation he instead of chewing and lunging forward more determinately backpedaled slowly and while tracing his fingers against the cold steel holstered at his either side. Last seconds of an old west standoff with an enemy unseen. Listen to me, he shouted. Feeling the barking strain in his neck and against the side of his head. Proceed to the square and you will be forcefully. Uh, he paused to take notice of persons curiously watching him instead of like the throng taking to their heels. Ellipsis you will be forcefully removed. This is your warning, the police officer shouted over his shoulders as though to compete with the untempered ruckus and crackling disturbance behind him where great wing tumults shrieked in the forefront of aggressing untempered fury in clattering explosions. Sirens blared behind him with a handful of them ringing strangulated blurts of an unnerving sort nearby. One such vehicle convulsing after steamrolling over the pavement and skirting sideways over the corner pavement before readjusting. The driver in a stupor mummified before the vital sign that was his coming unglued attracted attention when. From another incident with the radiator spewing smoke and as liquid formations as though parched lapped at the charred air. The vehicle jackknifing into an abandoned moving truck before persons frantically leapt out of the exploding vehicle. Barely making it with their lives. One fleeing vehicle wouldn't escape the terror as a rocket in a terrible impact met head on with them. Fire immediately and wholly engulfing their frantic breathing space. In mind's backdrop and somehow filtering on through toward the lucid forefront of consciousness existed the feeling that being trapped inside of one of these fires was scarcely a greater colossal grim fate for persons still scampering to free themselves and disheartening it was when many a person at wit's end collapsed to a siege hold inside. Emotionally spent That's and more violently collapsing in abandon while letting themselves uh, drift into something other than mayhem.
One man sinking to the ground by against the utility for a slippering to fall to his back 